Watch Apple's WWDC event at streamapple.live. So here's a quick rundown of Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference event. It's kicking off Monday, June 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern in an all digital fashion similar to last year's. Now, surprisingly, right after the event, Apple is holding a second one to talk about spatial audio. But honestly, I'm really enjoying these all digital events. I almost like these better than their audience presentations as the production quality is just insane. Now, during the first WWDC main presentation, Apple is going to unveil this year's new software updates, including iOS 15, iPadOS 15, tvOS 15, watchOS 8, and the next iteration of macOS. There's also a rumor that a new OS called HomeOS could be coming out, combining some of these. To be frank, there's quite a lot left up in the air this year as to what Apple's going to include in these updates. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation, but hardly any confirmed leaks. So with iOS, it'll be interesting to see what Apple chooses to update this year. From the invite, it looks like iMessages is going to be a center point of focus, receiving a big overhaul. My three pet peeves on stock iOS are uh, notification management, lock screen customization, and control center organization. And uh, those are things that have been speculated to receive updates. So I'm looking forward to see what Apple unveils. Now, I almost suspect a bigger update to iPadOS than iOS this year, considering a huge amount of criticism was received on the new iPad Pro with Apple's M1 chip. Everyone's been saying that, uh, and been saying this for years now, that iPads are being held back entirely by their OS. But speaking of Apple M1, we totally could see Apple announce a new product with their own Apple Silicon hardware in it. New MacBook Pro models are what everyone seems to be reporting on. But yeah, I'm actually pretty stoked for this year's event solely due to the fact that there has really not been any major confirmed leaks, leaving us to wonder what exactly Apple is going to showcase. Again, if you want to stream the event live, bookmark streamapple.live. Stay tuned for iOS 15 beta coverage right after the event concludes. iOS 15 beta 1 will be released to developers to download and install. And you know for sure we'll be covering that. But thanks for watching this quick video, guys. I'll catch you real soon. This is Tony signing out.